What if we literally never sell? I keep thinking this next run up ought to be a doozy. Not phone number prices, but enough that the larger whales decide it's enough. But what if this is the tactic? Just run the price up each year to a larger and larger price to shake off everyone else over the course of the rest of the year by hammering it back down. Over enough time, anyone could get exhausted and willing to sell for a gain. Perhaps that is the idea that SEC already has in the pocket. Why wouldn't they just keep playing us like that? But what if they never cared about selling and treated AMC like a legacy stock? Anyways, do what you have to do to take care of yourself and your loved ones. It's been a wild ride. Now, that logic makes sense in a lot of different situations, but as we've seen from the data and as we've seen from the community, this community is ruthless. Nobody is selling. The majority of inflow versus outflow on a daily basis, it's consistent that there's more buying going on, more holding and selling. And that's over a long, long period of time. So for those shareholders willing to hold and that want to see the really big numbers, they're going to be greatly benefiting off of the short squeeze ahead. When AMC short interest dropped from 20% to 14%, six points, the share price rose to $72 per share. Remember that, guys, six points, six percentage points, made AMC run to $72 per share. New short positions have brought AMC's short interest up to nearly 20% again. As of right now, I think it's somewhere around 21, 22, 23% on Ortex, meaning there are so many shorts that have yet to be squeezed from their position. And it's very, very true, guys. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much short covering to really get momentum, especially because there's so many people watching and waiting for it. I'm not going to lie. If I was short AMC right now, I would be extremely, extremely nervous. Just a reminder that it doesn't moize if apes don't hold. There has been tons of posts anchoring. Tons of posts that set certain price marks. $1,000 this. That's not the MOAS though. The MOAS is generational wealth for all. It's easy to hold through the committed dips. But what you're going to do when there's tons of thousands to lose. I'm here for the long haul. I believe in this community. I believe in the ability to take back what they took from us during the lockdowns. The money they printed and lost. For the people that lost so much in 2008, I'm here for the MOAS to change the U.S. market.